Have you ever looked at your car and wondered, how old are my tires? All tires in the U.S. will have a U.S. Department of Transportation DOT, tire identification number, which can also be referred to as a tire serial number. All tire identification numbers look like this and can be found on the sidewall of a tire. If you only see this shorter partial identification number, keep looking until you find the full identification number. It should have four sections of text and is normally 11 digits long. So breaking down this tire ID number, DOT stands for Department of Transportation, PP refers to the plant code where the tire was made, XC refers to the tire size code, and AUZ refers to the tire manufacturer code. Now all this information about this tire is nice, but what we really care about are the last four digits. 2616 is what is shown on this tire. The first two digits represent the week of the year the tire was manufactured. So in our case, this tire was made in the 26th week of the year. And as you may have guessed, the last two digits represent the year the tire was made. So in our example here, this tire was produced in the 26th week of 2016. A couple other examples, this tire was produced in the 49th week of 2014, and this tire the 43rd week of 2010. Now, tires made prior to the year 2000 only contain a three digit date code, and hopefully most of those tires should be off the road by now. So now that you can tell how old your tire is, you might be asking, well, can a tire expire? Well, there's no official expiration date for tires, but the general consensus seems to be about the six year mark. Storage, climate, tire pressure, vehicle load, and driving style can all play an important role in the lifespan of your tires. So I encourage you to inspect your tires periodically and run the right tires for your climate. So the bottom line, tires are very important as they greatly affect how your car accelerates, handles, and brakes. That's all I have for this video. Please feel free to continue the conversation in the video comments section. And as always, thanks for watching.